sometimes just such a drag editing. But we can manually edit these drag markers and make it better. Okay, in the previous video, we did some audio quantizing, which uh, fixed up the timing issues that we had and snapped everything to the grid according to um, our notes that we had laid down. So uh, we did that by, by a couple ways, by doing it auto, by letting GarageBand analyze the, the waveforms and doing it for us, and then we did uh, move a couple of those by hand. Now I'm going to take a closer look at how to move those by hand um, by editing the drag markers. Okay, so we're going to focus in on this section right here within the track editor. Now what I want you to pay attention to are the peaks. See how uh, the shapes of these waveforms are at a peak at the very beginning because that is the first, that is one note right, right here of a note being played and the next note is here so you just got to really pay attention to how these waveforms are shaped and you can really visually see when notes are being played so this is one note that's a second note this is the third note this is the fourth note and, um, and sometimes if you can't really tell of course the best piece of equipment in a studio are your ears so all you have to do is play back and watch closely to play back. As you're listening, just notice where the play mark is so you can kind of uh, differentiate where the notes are and such. And at the same time, notice where the notes are off timing. So, I mean, we can obviously see how this first note um, is before the fifth marker, the fifth measure, and that should be snapped. So let's go ahead and listen at what we have before uh, we edit some of these drag markers. Now I'm going to rewind this back just a little bit more. Okay. Okay. And we're just going to focus in on this first part. So, what I want you to notice is see how the mouse. Once I hover over this, um, it turns into that line with like, um, kind of looks like two different waveforms on the side of it. Uh, that places your drag markers. So you usually want to click on where you think the beginning of a note. And sometimes if you've already clicked at a spot, because I clicked on this earlier, um, it shows you the uh, drag marker. So if I want to place one on the very beginning of this note, all I have to do is hover over it, click, and once I click, it should automatically snap to either the five right here where it should be or to this one, uh, depending on which one is closer on where I click. So let's go ahead and click and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, once I clicked, it snapped to the five, um, and I can easily uh, click and hold, or click and drag to the left or to the right to extend or squish the timing or extend the timing if I wanted it to play longer. Um, so let me let me go ahead and place that there, just extend it out, that first note. And it might be the second note as well. I think let me let me take a look. Yeah, I think the second note was in there as well. Um, if you don't want the second note to go with it, you just click again and that should solve the problem there we go yeah see so now i'm taking only the first note so just in case uh, a garage band grabs more than you want and you just want that first note right here just go ahead and click on the next note that way it kind of separates and you can differentiate like hey garage band i just want to take this note okay so i can grab that note extend it one full measure and let's take a listen to that Rewind it. Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of like exaggeration. And what's really cool is you can stretch it out, and it still sounds almost natural, like like if that's how I played it. Anyway, I'm gonna Apple Z and undo that. And let's say we added one somewhere, like the second note, and we didn't want that there. Well. 
we know how to add them by clicking by hovering over and clicking them and I want to get rid of that guy well you just simply hover over the X button or, or yeah the X icon and just click on it and it gets rid of that guy so now if I hover over it's not there anymore and if I simply wanted if I if I realize that was a mistake I can always just click again and add it again it's simple as that so that's a little bit of a closer look and uh, enjoy editing. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. Show